Keep the beat with Monster Prom. They can't see you, dipshit. I, shit, fuck. He's uh, raising the roof. Right uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're wooing our appropriate. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. We're wooing our appropriate <laughs> girls. I'm wooing my my ghost girl Polly. I need to guys in the comments. I need to know what the fuck a reverse Romanian Rick Wickelson is. And he's wooing up here. Okay, I'm gonna go to class for once. Because I may as well be a good student, or at least make the image of while I sleep. <laughs> that day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Oh, that's good. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the most primary activity at this high school. Anyway, you gain plus two smart, so that's good. I'm pretty well rounded right oh, now. You're more I'm not smart very, than me. I'm not very bold or creative though in comparison to you. Uh, the teacher hasn't arrived yet, so everybody's chatting amongst themselves. Polly and Scott are sitting next to you, and you can't help overhearing a conversation. What is that? It's a, oh god, <laughs> that guy looks like, hmm, you know, some, some stuff's going on at home, and uh, my mom and dad are uh, not looking too good at the moment. <laughs> so weird. Just, I just, I'm going by this his face, just staring right down into the earth. Hey, hey, look at me, you know, like a school spot, uh, Master Crown's coming. <laughs> he like, oh, These derp dudes are so funny looking. What's, what's that show? The, uh, the, 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 the blue dude? The, 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 the tick? No. It has like a blue... Uh, I don't Is know, it a uh, cartoon? Yeah. Um, like a children's cartoon? Yeah. Gumball? No. I, I, it's like a blue... I'll find it. I don't fucking know, know what you're talking about. I don't watch cartoons anymore. Alright! I hereby call this meeting of the Prank Masters... What is he? To order! Prank Master Dog! <laughs> Here! Prank Master Guys! Present! Hit it. Hold, hold it. Never mind. Yeah, that's her last name. Polly Geist. That's know, her name. It's a, it's that's a the joke, uh, the joke of Poltergeist. Yeah, I yeah. figured that out from the second the game okay, started. Fine. <laughs> Great! Okay, our first order of business, Operation Prank the Teacher. Should we, uh, come up with a different name for the operation? Something more secret? No, Scott! That's what they're expecting! <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think we should poop on her desk. <laughs> what? He's a dog. It makes sense. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty good, but ghosts can't poop, and I want to participate. <laughs> good point. Well, what else can we do? Oh, Miss Lestrade is a vampire, right? Why don't we open the blinds, and so when she comes in, she bursts into dust? Oh boy, that would be such a good prank, resulting in death. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're the prank masters. With a Z. <laughs> Scott and Polly excitedly try to open the blinds, but they won't budge. Seems like Miss Lestrand anticipated this particular prank. Ugh, lame. Well, I'm te temporarily out of ideas. Sky? Nothing. Anybody? Anybody? The prank masters are currently accepting applications. You fancy yourself a bit of a prankster, don't you? Oh, I am 17 fun. <laughs> Why not treat them to one of your amazing prank ideas? Tell the teacher she's got something on her face. There's no way for her to check. Oh! No. That's cool. Quick, quick, become a minister and consecrate <laughs> consecrate the room. She won't be able to enter. Oh, that's funny. No, dude, the the face thing is ingenious. So this one? Yeah, that one. See, your dumb plan totally works. Dude, I, I can't be more fun. Miss Lestrange shows up and Polly tells her she's got some blood on her cheek. You chime in and tell her she's rubbing the wrong cheek. Scott joins it too, and you manage to keep it going until your teacher flips out and flees to the teacher's lounge to ask someone trustworthy about her face. That's great. Meanwhile, you, Scott, and Polly all sneak out of the classroom and have a great time setting rolls of toilet paper on fire in the bathrooms. <laughs> People at the school just like fire, don't they? Oh my god. 19 fun! My god! And bo Dude, I am becoming a god of funness. Funness? Yeah, funness. And is for anywhere, anytime at all, and here in the deep blue sea. Okay, well, I'm going to the bathroom because I'm Dude, like, I'm you just keep, like, I'm going to the bathroom every time. Just like taking shits and lighting stuff on fire. <laughs> the bastard to take a number two. Oh, you're not skipping class this time, though, so you must have gone to class at one point. Don't worry, there won't be an <laughs> illustration of that Thank specific you. moment. <laughs> Good. Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put out, you don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. 
Oh, <laughs> dude, hardcore. Going up in life. Hardcore. <laughs> Look at you, you crazy bastard. You get plus two bullets oh and probably plus one staff of fl blah, whatever the fuck that word is, with a slight chance of plus one STT. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're fucked for prom, dude. You got AIDS. <laughs> oh my uh, god. I love this game. Later, you see Vera calculating to herself in the hallway, which is whatever, but you might as well find out why. Just practicing my prom queen acceptance speech in my mind. <laughs> cool. It's not like the title bears any meaning whatsoever, of course, and I really do consider the whole thing way beneath me. However, considering how much meaning other girls put on it, I can't risk some uppity bitch thinking she's better than I am. Well, wow. she shows you how much you don't care. Uh, <laughs> plus, it's not bad branding either. I could see using a victory to start a line of successful prom queen accessories guaranteed to get you the win. Perfect prom shoes, the right makeup, fancy knives to take out your opponents. The best of culinary knives. <laughs> Speaking of which, I assume this goes without saying, but I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual to ensure my win. Whoa, that's not cool. I still haven't found the exact details yet, but I'm optimistic that at least some of the items will be found in the shop. The only question is where exactly I can find the details for a proper blood ritual. Okay, uh, why don't we ask the coven? They're witches. They should know all about blood magic. Literally just search the internet. That, like, that's literally what it's there for. <laughs> um, it's up to you. you want to be a smart ass or you want to be like... <laughs> of course! I knew those basic bitches would come in handy one day. Damn. Actually, I really didn't. I always thought they were pretty useless, but I'm never mad to be proven wrong when it serves me. I... I understand why you don't want to woo her. <laughs> she's not she's not a, a fun person. You the skills you gain during the extra credit summoning seminar, you call forth the coven. Oh, right now. Okay. What is it now? Is there some emergency? Is the world in need of saving? Of course not. The world is the worst. Why would I ever want to save it? No, I just want to be prom queen, and I need some blood magic to guarantee my victory. And I figured you three could do something productive for once. What do you mean for once? We're the ones constantly saving you from destruction. We're the ones who... We haven't done anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let's, uh, and then, that's why she st pauses and recollects to herself. Oh shit, I guess we haven't done anything. Yeah, oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Just tell me how to cheat my way into becoming prom queen. Or I'll, or I'll start a rumor that you're just a mega swarm of bees in three... What is this game with bees and <laughs> fire? <laughs> my god. Three people Click. suits. Yeah, right. Why would we... Uh, whatever. Here's what you need for the ritual. The blood of a former prom queen, the tongue of a goat, and the earrings of an ancient goddess. Well, shit. But good luck getting those. Thanks. When I need your opinion, I'll ask for it. Ooh, get roasted. I fucking hate her. <laughs> you did ask. And now you answered. You can leave. Oh my god. She has, she has a comeback for everything, doesn't she? In a puff of aggravated smoke, the coven disappears. Let's split up. You check the shop. I'll grab a goat and meet you in the oh bathroom god, no. when you're done. Don't cut off the Damn. Well, no. guess you're involved in some blood magic now. Sounds fun, bro! I got fun this! You got no. some fun! And, and it's a charm! And you know what? I think you're just bold enough to be doing some blood magic. Go for it, buddy. Alrighty, trade. Uh, Alright, we're redebating now. Everybody chooses the brand. Say your choice out loud so the rest of the players are not thinking. Uh, okay. Uh, a brand name, huh? Uh, Charmin Ultra. Less is more. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, toilet paper. Motorola. Brand. Motorola? Okay. Yeah. Clickies. Alright, player order is decided based on how cool it will be to live in a nation ruled by the selected brand. Dude, Charmin! <laughs> we are ruled by bears who know how to wipe their asses! <laughs> <laughs> By very cute drawn bears. What's great about um? How do you plead your case for uh, motor, motor, Motorola? What? Motorola. They're what again? They make technology. A Motorola is a phone. Yeah. It's no. Just they make they make laptops too. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So they make they, okay. they make accessories too. They're, they're a technology brand. Okay, that automa better... that automatically means Terminator, dude. Yeah. If you want to live in a nation ruled by technology, we got fucking Skynet to kill us. So sorry to say, I want no, to live. I want to no. live in a nation hey, ruled no, by me. charming bears that wipe their own asses. <laughs> Unless you have a better one. Uh, another brand or no? A no, better, a better reasoning for your phone laptop nation. Well, it wouldn't. It would be run by the the people that own Motorola. They use the technology to keep taps on all the people that 
are doing stuff so that they know when anyone's doing anything they don't want them doing. We already have the so we already have the NSA, dude. We don't need we don't. <laughs> sorry, dude. Okay. We're going with the charming oh, wait, world. That's you. That's me. We're going with the charming world of cute bears that wipe their own asses. <laughs> All right. Uh, noon. Oh yeah, lunch again. All right, I'll go sit with my ghost girl, please. And, uh, no, oh, not wait, now, no, not, not on the right see, side, you motherfucker! See. Don't you dare put me- No, dude! Give me the goddamn mouse! <laughs> Screw off! <laughs> Liam and Polly aren't alone at their table. They're flanked by two beefy hobgoblins in school security uniforms. What do these two have, bodyguards now? They aren't bodyguards, they're food guards. <laughs> what? Principal Giant Spider found out we weren't eating during lunch, so he assigned guards to us because he thinks we have an eating disorder. And we do have an eating disorder. It's called being dead. <laughs> Vampires are pretty sure can still eat. <laughs> Except it's not an eating disorder. It's an identity and a lifestyle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fucking loser. Death style. <laughs> what? Whatever. The point is that they won't let us leave until we've eaten our food. I mean, just give them some blood. I'm gonna say, you can drink. Polly can't do either. You can drink blood. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure she can eat the souls of the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think ghosts eat other they, She is a soul. Don't. They can't devour each other. I mean, go ahead. Quick. Which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superiority Club to conduct okay. next period. I can't be late. If you could just figure out a way around these food guards for us, I'd be super grateful. Like, in a sexy way. Oh my god, those that face. I can't say no to that sex face that she's got. Well, you can't say no to that. Damn right! Time to enact your friendly, fiendishly clever plan. I thought I said friendly. <laughs> <laughs> dump all of, Oh my god, wow. Not gonna be subtle about it, are we? Um, I'm gonna dump all- Wait, 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 before you do this. If you dump the food on her, it won't actually go- It will just go through her, and both of them will get away, probably. I don't care about both of them, I care about Polly. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just <laughs> I saying. I could give two shits about the nerdy vampire, dude. So dump, all, dump all of Polly foods on Liam's plate, please. <laughs> With all the deafness and raw sexuality of Indiana Jones, you have the Polly food on the Liam's plate and his lap. <laughs> ah, stop that. It's too much food. I can't even artfully arrange it for a decent food pick. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I seem to have eaten 100% of the food on my plate. No problem, nothing to see here. Luckily for you and Polly, the hobgoblins are complete idiots and no object, no object permanence. <laughs> they instantly believe Polly's lie. <laughs> That's funny. You traitors, I thought we were in this together. No. You thought? <laughs> that was your first mistake. I stay high all the time, so I never think. I, I dude. I want to put a baby in her. <laughs> you and Polly ditch the cafeteria and then ditch school and then do so many drugs. You end up in a ditch. So responsible. I just fucking love this game. I see McNug. All right, where you going, bro? Where'd the werewolf dude go? He disappeared. He's on the bottom oh, left corner. Why aren't you trying to romance the mermaid chick? We haven't even tried her out yet. Okay. I mean, if you don't want to stick with Vera. Give her a shot. You arrive at Scott and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares horrified at her tray. Why? Hmm, what's wrong, Miranda? Isn't it obvious? Right here on my tray, fish sticks. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, come on. Yeah, fish stick Fridays. Isn't it great? It is not great, Scott. The fish are my subjects. This is clearly the work of the air people. Okay. <laughs> she just has a British demeanor to me. <laughs> air people? Yes, do you not know the air people? The mere folks most hated no, the the mere folks most hated rivals. Don't you read the news? Uh yeah, sure. Uh, besides, I totally know how to read. <laughs> cool. What? <laughs> well, I must insist that you cease eating those fish sticks immediately. It is high treason. Oh, but I've been looking forward to fish stick Friday since last fish stick Friday. Are you sure I can't eat any? He's asking Miranda while holding a fish stick really close to his mouth, but you feel like you've got a better answer to settle their argument. You blurt out, Haven't you heard, Scott? Fish sticks make you worse at sports. They contain ball drop- Ball drop and- Drop and all. And nerdle flavin. <laughs> ball drop. Fish sticks contain absolutely no fish. It's all garden snails and food grade plastic. Scott can eat as many as he wants. Well, I mean, do you want- You should just woo Scott then. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> I just think you could be more fun to pick whatever the hell you want. See, Mar See Miranda? There's nothing wrong with fish sticks at all. They're good and good for you. I suppose you're right. Besides, this is not the air people plot I suspected at all. 
Though I am disappointed that so much plastic is being used in fish sticks rather than plastic drink rings to catch birds with. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, right. Oh, because it's a joke where the, pl the soda beer wraps mm -hmm. catch fish in. <laughs> That's funny. Don't forget about the snails. There are snails in it, too. I would much rather forget about the snails, thank you. Does this mean you still don't want your fish sticks? Can I have them? Can I? Very well. You may partake. I'm not sure where my eating serves have gone off into in any case. Eating servants. <laughs> As you catch Scotch chow down on his artificial fish fingers, you decide that both he and Miranda have weird relationships with food. Scott gives you a thumbs up while still munching those fish fingers. <laughs> cool. Alright. <clears throat> I'll try places. Player or side based on who is most likely to be hiding corpses- you! That is so you! You say it all the time! You do nothing but say, um, excuse me, I have to be careful um, of the dead body in my basement. <laughs> that's so totally you, Drill. So I go, I go first? You go first! Yeah. That's fucking you, man! Yeah. You don't shut up about hiding corpses! <laughs> oh my god. Holy fuck. Alright, well, we'll actually have to continue this next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if we'll to play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later! Bye bye!